Hello folks and welcome. So uh, Linux Mint 21.1 Cinnamon 64-bit. I'm going to be talking about um, languages, something for you folks that want to have different keyboards uh, if you are bilingual or just wanting to generally have a uh, another language keyboard that you can uh, well bring up and um, quickly check characters and stuff like that. Um, this video is going to be more than two minutes. Uh, all of my videos on my new YouTube channel are more than two minutes. However, they all contain chapters or timelines. I do encourage that you subscribe and also read my about section. One of the comments that I make in there is Linux is for, well, every age, any age. In my community tab, there's some tips about doing keyword searches because my library is approaching 100 videos. My previous channel had 450 and that made it easier for a lot of my old subscribers to use that tool. It was invaluable to them to look for information really quickly. So in either case, I would uh, encourage that you look into that. So I will say welcome. Cinnamon Desktop 21.1. So I'm going to right click on my semi see-through panel bar and I'm going to walk over to the settings for my keyboard. And then on the last tab, I'm going to hit layouts and I'm going to hit the plus key. Now I'm using the default layout here, which is use country flag if available. So basically pick your country. I'll start with the top one and I'll pick a couple. So that's one and I'll hit another key in here. And I'll pick Icelandic for another one. So that's three keyboards. Now I'm going to close this box. Now the primary language that I'm currently uh, on is English and you can see the American flag here. However, this is the keyboard layout for that English keyboard. Here's the keyboard layout for Afghan keyboard. And the Icelandic keyboard layout. So you can switch between the two and it tells you the approximate position of the letters is what I'm getting at. But more importantly, when you're in there doing your word processing stuff and whatever else, at least if you take a look at your panel bar, it'll tell you what language you're currently in. And you can switch between the two or three or four or however many you added. So here are some of the options in there after you turn that feature on. Short and sweet. Thank you for watching, folks.